This is Whispering Lily, bringing you a little shopping haul today. Um, I did my main grocery shopping at the beginning of the month, and I was all prepared to do a video, because I love talking to you, right? Um, and then I got food poisoning while I was out shopping, so I uh, felt bad. And we're lucky that I had to do some shopping this week, so not quite the normal grocery haul, but variety is the spice of life, right? First up is some online orders. I saved these because um, I got them yesterday, and I have not opened them up yet because I was saving them for you guys. So in this envelope, I have some glass eyes for my felting projects. Um, I have a convention that starts tomorrow. Um, so there's a little craft show associated with it and I'm hopefully hoping to sell some stuff. And I always get last minute ideas when there's a convention. So uh, luckily I have Amazon Prime and can get this stuff fast you know the holidays are coming up so one of the last minute ideas that I had was to make little ornaments and I found these tiny Santa hats on Amazon um, and I'm hoping that they'll be easy to attach to my little felt ornaments uh, they're originally intended to be lollipop covers, and I have been dying, not literally, <laughs> to uh, see what these look like. So I'm going to pull one of my Santa hats out. <laughs> look at that. That is adorable. Almost good for a little finger puppet. They're slightly um, thinner than I would want, but I'm sure they'll still be good. So we'll see how that goes. I went ahead and grabbed one of the ornaments that I'm working on. He's waiting for his hat and hook. And the hat's gonna be roughly like that. So yeah, not exactly what I was hoping for but it's still cute. I ended up at Michael's and Hobby Lobby because even though they're both big stores, they don't always have everything I need. Um, for example, these styrofoam balls are the base of the ornament shape. And I got my first package of them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, that's how I made the panda, right? And I went back, and they were all sold out. So I was fortunate that Michael's had some. Michael's also had some really adorable hooks. Um, so I'm going to be able to kind of give my ornaments that extra little bit of flair, right? And then, last but not least, for the Michaels bag, I got little, they're designed for jewelry, jewelry hangers, but I'm going to hang the ornaments and some other little um, doodads, right? And that should just hook right onto my display. So I'm excited and I hope this works as well as I imagine it will, because these were $7 a piece. For these little hooks. Um, I did have a 50% off coupon, so one of them wasn't quite seven dollars, but still. These are little um, jewelry eye pins, and that's how I'm going to um, attach the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ornament hook to the actual ornament. Now the only thing for this particular trip that uh, Hobby Lobby had, and Michael's did not, were 
these nice um, bags. I'm going to have some prints. I've been working on uh, foiling and it's kind of customary to bag up good prints. Um, these were a little pricey, $5.99, but I had another coupon. <laughs> So I got that for 40% off. And since I mentioned the prints, I kind of have to show you at least one of them. Uh, learning how to foil. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. So it gives me a chance to have another creative outlet, right? So I've got the craft show for this weekend. And then next weekend is Thanksgiving. Um, one guess as to uh, what people wanted me to make for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Um, it's definitely what I'm known for. Uh, my fiance, his family, rents out a very large building. Um, it's four stories. It was an old um, hospital and now it's like a art retreat. Um, but they rent it out for Thanksgiving. There's about 50 of them. So I'm planning on making a lot of mac and cheese. While I was shopping for mac and cheese things, um, I did pick up a few other little odds and ends. Coffee filters. And some more storage containers. I got a Halloween sale for little um, basting brushes. Um, I actually saw these during my big shopping trip and decided I didn't really need more pastry brushes, right? Well, they were reduced to 49 cents and you really can't go wrong for that price, even if they have little skeletons on them. sesame crackers. Uh, they're a favorite of mine. And this brand makes like multi-grain and a few others, but for me, only sesame. And then the bottom of this bag is full <laughs> of shells for my mac and cheese. Um, there's actually two um, pouches of it. In this bag I have some snacks for the boys lunch and not one but six cans of cheddar cheese soup mix. <laughs> I feel like if you keep watching me you're gonna have the recipe for mac and cheese memorized. I certainly make it often enough. And then one final little goodie in here, these um, original gummy fun mix. I bought one bag of this and it was really, really delicious. So that's been kind of like my uh, diet cheat for at least the past two days. We've got two more bags to go through. Wasn't quite prepared and I only brought three um, of my reusable bags when I went shopping and for some reason I thought that would be enough but clearly it wasn't. <laughs> um, two things of half and half. One to take to Thanksgiving and one for the house. And some more jalapeno ranch for the boy. Definitely loves this stuff. And then the only thing in this bag that's not mac and cheese ingredients is I did buy myself a little pack of prosciutto. Um, I, my diet, I have been kind of um, just mostly watching the calories, but also being low carb at the same time. Not super strict. <laughs> Definitely not keto. Um, but anyway, so fat and protein are good. And this is a kind of a treat because it's a little expensive, but I can eat it. I think the rest of the um, bag is pretty self-explanatory, but 
we'll go ahead and we'll just do a quick show off. Lots of jalapenos for my jalapeno mac and cheese. Some extra whipping cream in case the half and half uh, doesn't do the job. And then there's five, five, no, four bags of shredded mozzarella. I'm making a lot of mac and cheese. Finally, we do have the infamous pepper bacon. I got a whole pound of it. I can definitely feel the heft of this guy. Um, I usually make two pans of regular mac and cheese and then one pan of like vegetarian pepper free just because there will be kids. I don't think it's spicy at all, but kids can be particular. And that is it. I apologize that it's a little shorter than usual, but these were kind of like side trips, right? Um, shout out to Nom Sniper. Uh, if you are genuinely a US soldier, then I thank you for your service and for your commenting. <laughs> Um, of course, I appreciate all of my viewers and listeners, um, so thank you. <laughs> um, with that, I'm going to say have a wonderful evening, 99.